Hi everyone. I just purchased a USB Buddy from uh, Power Rack because I want to power my Raspberry Pi with a BioNO battery. Now this battery is 12 volts, 12 amp hours. This is the uh, USB Buddy. It uh, ranges from 10 to 32 volts in, so the power that goes in here, and then it comes out to be 5 uh, volts max at 3 amps, so it should be sufficient to power the Raspberry Pi. I also purchased one of these uh, power uh, distribution power pole blocks. Um, I was hesitant to get one, uh, uh, but this is kind of small. I was a little bit surprised, um, and it's not inexpensive. But it's uh, working out so far uh, okay. So I have over here a, a watt meter and let's find out the power, um, how much power a Raspberry Pi uh, 3 plus or 3B plus will take in. Note that I have also a uh, GPS dongle, a USB. GPS dongle. Alright, so let's power this up. Alright, there it is. We have looks like 9 watt, 0.9 watts, uh, 0.24, 3, 3.5, now it's coming down. 2.8, 3.6, 3.7, 's uh, still processing oh, and this is yes this is the 3 uh, B plus let it settle in you can see now the USB um, GPS dongle is blinking and we are now at about 2.4 watts and it's draining about 1.8 amp not bad not bad at all, right? Um, that's not a lot. 0.18. That's pretty good, actually. I've noticed that, uh, so it's settled in at 2.4, approximately. I noticed that if I take this off, look at the wattage. It goes down to approximately 2 watts. Isn't that crazy? That is, um, that's a lot. Now, let me log in to the Raspberry Pi, and this one's the 3B Plus, and let me turn it off. I'm going to go over here, remotely, shut it down, okay, and let's see what happens to the wattage. It's processing, and look at that, the watts now is 0.4, right, 0.4 watts, and we're down now to 0 0.02, 0 0.03 amp hours. So if you just leave it like this, it still drains power, it's still powered on, but it's turned off completely. Okay, so I'm gonna disassemble this, and let's bring in the Raspberry Pi uh, 4. Okay, so I have it all together. Let's power the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> all right, let's power the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, none of these Raspberry Pis have the fan on, so that's probably going to drain some more power. But there's nothing really taxing this Raspberry Pi other than this USB um, GPS USB dongle. Alright, it's still processing. We're going to let it settle. Alright. Okay, we got the um, GPS U USB dongle. It's blinking. This is still processing a bit. Let it settle in. Okay. We have about 3.2 watts uh, compared to 2.4 watts. 
that's one watt more almost. We have a 0.24 amps for the Raspberry Pi 4, but for the, Rasb the Raspberry Pi uh, 3B Plus, it was 0.18. So definitely this is running a bit hotter. Now, if we take out the dongle, you can see that we have a significant change, almost a watt. So that's very uh, interesting. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and turn off the Raspberry Pi 4. And there it is. Wow, it's still taking up 0 0.1, uh, 0.1 amp and it's at 1.3 watts. Pretty incredible compared to a 0.2 uh, watts when it was off, right? Not completely off because you have to unplug it. But this is um, a significant amount of wattage being drained uh, just by, you know, being off and not unplugged. All right, so if uh, this was useful, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. This is uh, Frank, KN6BST.